three, two, one. This is kind of the Travi Brown podcast on Monday, February 24. This looks like our scene. Okay, everybody, everybody, welcome everybody. Something a little different today. Um, kind of got a setup going here that I am I'm pretty happy about. Uh, there is, a, I got a new microphone, so we're doing that thing right now. And it's right here, right in front of my face, out of the frame of the camera. And we got our, our Zoom H4N recording here on the articulating arm of the boom pole. And we're just rocking a little ring light, baby. A little ring light action. And I think we're going to do some Facebook Live. Mm, maybe not. Oh, so it's been a, a little bit of time since the last podcast, and Travis Brown's been a busy bee. I have started reselling on the eBay, and that is very, very, very exciting for me. There's a, it's just, what a thrill to go and, and treasure hunt for, um, for the things and then research the things and find out, wow, I've paid 50 cents for this and it's worth $25 and then you get to photograph it and then you get to list it and write a, a fun description and it's a nice Another great creative outlet, as well as a money-making opportunity. So yesterday, I think I photographed... I mean, I for sure took like 400 photos, and we started with Hot Wheels, Dinosaurs, what else? Um... The Macho Man, Randy Savage, was in there. And what else? And uh, some mugs, the mug life. And a whole bunch of crap. And then you take the photos. And maybe some people don't do this, but I like to upload them on the computer and do a quick quick brightness, exposure, contrast, adjustment. And then, um, and then you start listing. So we'd be listing, homie, all week. We'd be listing. And it's, I'm trying to get out of just having the, the job, the, uh, noon to five as the only source of income when I have all these other opportunities and talents that I could be utilizing to make more income. Uh, And eventually it would be great to not have that job working for somebody and just be doing, doing my thing. You know what I'm saying? Doing my thing, my motherfucking, you know I'm on that motherfucking thing. And... I want to start doing the uh, some voiceover stuff. I'm, I got my account on ACX, and that is a site for authors and uh, voiceover actors. So the author posts a description of the book and what it is, and you can submit a demo for that. They'll send you a piece of the script. 
or they can view your profile based on your demos that you post. And there's back and forth, back and forth if, if you like each other. And then they agree to the thing. And then you can get paid uh, some pretty good money for um, a good bit of work. I think it's like starting, you can charge like 50 and fifty dollars an hour and up. Um, and that's intriguing. There is a lot of work that goes into that, though, if you're doing a book. A novel which is like five it could be like five hours and on so that's five hours of audio plus editing but you know everything's work it's all fucking work ain't nothing ain't nothing easy so that could be great you can also choose to get paid after uh, the thing starts selling and you get half of the half of the price of whatever the book is selling for so if it sells a million, a million clicks, then you get half of that price. So I guess it's a gamble either way. But I would love to start getting into that. That's eBay stream of cash. That's voiceover stream of cash. That's the ice cream scooping stream of cash for a little while. To, be, to get into some acting and get paid as a stream of cash. You got to have your streams, homie. I'm talking about streams, homie. And all, all the while, doing things that you love and are excited about. So, I think maybe there's a misconception in working for yourself and that it's easy because you don't have to clock in to a thing. But it's actually, in some ways, it can be harder because you really have to be uh, dedicated and stay, stay on your grind because it can be very easy to get complacent and lazy and be like, well, I'm working for myself. I can do it later. I can do it later. But you have to stay. You got to stay hustling, homie. So that's what's been going on lately. Um, and I'm, I think ever since I started the, the eBay, things have just kind of been happening, happening for me. And that's fun. That's a good feeling. Got back into the, I've been slacking on my meditation and started that up a couple days ago. And what a difference, what a difference. If you've been slacking on your meditation or have never done it, and your yoga, I'm telling you guys, it's night and day, get into that today, there's so many resources on the YouTube, I would always recommend looking up Sadhguru, S-A-D-H-G-U-R-U, I got a, I got a picture of him right here on the wall, and he's posed like this. And there's a quote that says, There's too much talk about God, God, men, and goddamn men, only because most of the humanity has not realized the immensity of being human. Boy, ain't that the truth. Uh, so we love Sadhguru here at the Travi Brown Podcast. And and do you do you some research and see what you like, see what you don't like. Maybe you don't like the sad guru approach. Maybe you like something different. There's all sorts of meditations and yogas. Um, just be uh, be aware. There's also a lot of people that don't really know what they're doing out there. So be careful who you listen to. Uh, in other news. I have made the biggest upgrade ever in quite some time and purchased myself here a new flip phone. This is a good thumbnail. You know, everybody. 
If you're listening to this on SoundCloud, I, I was doing a thumbnail pose with a cell phone pointing at it into the camera. But this, this motherfucking thing, okay, what a game changer. I had flip phone before, and flip phone is great. And we still love flip phone here at Travi Brown Podcast. And then I had another, an older smartphone that had 8 gigs of memory. Anytime I wanted to get an app, I had to delete an app and delete photos. And it only worked on Wi-Fi. So when it comes to eBay, I mean, I really, I couldn't look up anything. I had to trust the old noodle. And I'm not at the point where I know enough about everything. So this fo- this phone here um, is is amazing. You can look up things. You can look up things on it. You can download the apps. You can take the videos and the pictures and the calls and the texts. You can do it all. And a great feature that eBay has is it lets you scan barcodes. We out here scanning barcodes, homie. So, yeah, you betcha I was at Goodwill scanning book barcodes because you can buy a book, depending on the Goodwill, 50 cents to a dollar to two dollars. Scan that motherfucking thing and maybe it pops up that it's selling for 30, 40 dollars. Easy money. Now you got to be discreet when you're doing it. You can't just be out there scanning in front of the whole staff. But if you're in a good sized, a good sized Goodwill, you know they aren't always paying attention. So be discreet about it. Uh, don't be a dick. So the phone is the phone is a game fucking changer. I have never been so excited about a piece of technology as I am about this phone. What a thing. What a thing. Also, a phone stand. Adjustable phone stand. Purchased at the Dollar Tree. If you've been listening to the Tribe Brown Podcast, you know we are huge, huge fans of the Dollar Tree here. And this thing does exactly what it needs to do, and nothing more. It's an adjustable stand for your phone. And that is incredible. Really, really incredible. In Asheville, Asheville here, we had our first snow, first big snow of the season, real late there. Real, real late on the season. Um, and we had uh, all day snow, and some of it, most of it didn't stick to the ground, but it was, what a refreshing, refreshing thing to have the snow. Growing up in AZ, in, in the PHX, we don't have snow there, and the kids, these little bastards, they get snow days even if there's a chance of snow, which is good for them. I would have loved to have that. So I, I ain't mad at you, kids. I ain't mad at you. We, I wish we would have had heat days, though, when it's 115 degrees out, 120 degrees out. Should have had some heat days up in AZ. Where are you at, Arizona Education? Arizona Educations. Snow days are great. I wish I would have had a snow day. So what else to say, really? Um, Oh, the lighting course. I've been taking a lighting course that I paid uh, $130 for. It was a month-long course. I missed the first day because I was in Disney World, Orlando, Florida, with the wife. Missed the first class, was there for the second. And the thing about taking a class is it you it's a good indicator of how interested you are in the thing. So, you know, I've been trying to up up my game in all aspects. 
and I wanted to find out more on lighting. Um, and this is mainly pertains to cinema lighting. But I wanted I wanted that knowledge, so I took this class, and now I'm finding I don't really care as much as I thought. I don't, you know, I'm, I'm. There's certain points that are sticking, that are helpful, but I'm not all that interested in it. Really. I don't plan on doing it, you know, on on a set or anything for friends maybe to help. Um, but you know, I have I have a little ring light here that's doing an all right job, and uh, I made a purchase on, actually, the recommendation of the instructor of the class. Uh, I bought a light, a cheap light, uh, but a tried and true light on the Hollywood sets, which is the Richardson Mole, and uh, this is a mini mole. Uh, most of you may have no idea what I'm talking about. I didn't know what they were. But these things are built like tanks and will probably last forever. And it's a Fresnel light. And I should be getting it today. So I'm, I'm excited to try that, try that thing out. Um, so the class, yeah. We learned some things. And some things, you know, I wasn't all um, involved in with the class. The last one is Wednesday. Um, and that's how it goes. You take, you, you got to keep, try a new thing, keep trying new things and weeding out the things you don't like. And you get all, all the while closer and closer and closer to the thing, things that you want to be doing and are interested in. I also a month ago, bought a color grading course online. I got sucked into a tutorial and a, and a deal, because I'm a sucker for the deals. Chappie Brown's a sucker for the deals. I love a good deal. And color grading was intriguing to me for the videos I do. It's not even something that's really that necessary, but I wanted to know more. So... This thing was like $60, six payments of $60. And, and you got a bunch of stuff free from the start. And that was that is how you get, get the folks in. You give them some free shit from the beginning, and then they're hooked. And then I went through the course, and I went through the course, and I'm realizing I don't have really that much interest in doing this. I'm not trying to be a professional colorist, but I did learn some things from it. And there was a 30-day money-back guarantee thing, so uh, I canceled it and got my money back. So some good, a lot of good actually came out of that. I learned that I don't really have any interest in doing that type of thing. And uh, I also learned, learned some bit about coloring. So you got to keep... You gotta keep trying the things. You gotta keep experimenting. And I'm 30, and maybe you're 20, or maybe you're 18, or maybe you're 16, and you're in high school, and your teachers are pressuring you, and your parents are pressuring you because you're gonna be graduating soon, honey. And you gotta start thinking about what you wanna do when you get out of high school because you're going to be in the real world and you're going to, you know, you're going to need a real job because it's tough out there. Yeah, it's tough out there, honey. So you're going to need to go to college and get a degree. So you're going to need to decide, you know, within the next year, what you want to do for the rest of your life. And then you're going to need to spend $100,000 to do that thing and be in debt for a long time, but it will be worth it when you're, that, when you're a brain surgeon at 35 and haven't got to experience anything else in life. No disrespect to anybody that wants to be a brain surgeon and go to college for four years or three years or two years. College is a great thing for a lot of folks. 
And if you want to be a lawyer or a doctor or things of that nature, then then by all means. And if you're in love with the idea of being an archaeologist or a crime scene specialist or a blood spatter analyst, then please, I hope that you go and follow that, follow that instinct. But in most cases, to tell a 17 or 18 year old to make a decision that's going to affect the rest of their life and potentially put them back is fucking crazy. I think there needs to be not that pressure on the high school kids because you you make some fucking wild decision that you have no idea. Oh, I gotta... I want to do this. I'll go. And I'll go to this school for four years and fucking hate it. And, and also spending a lot of moolah cash money. So instead of maybe doing that, maybe try out a bunch of different things and experience life in a bunch of different ways. They know so much knowledge, but they find so much unknown ahead. The more they know about this subject, the more unaware they are of the subject. They know so much, and they find so much unknown ahead. This gives us to conclude. Present system of education has only the strength of exciting the thirst for knowledge but not able to satisfy that thirst. This evening we'll discover what has been missing and having found something precious missing we'll try to incorporate that new education and make it fulfilled. What is the way to use the full mental potential? 